Welcome back. Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Sam Postich joins us now. Sam Postich yes. joins us now. Close enough. <laughs> And uh, we're having some more beautiful weather coming away, right, Sam? Yeah, I mean, people love it, obviously, with the sunshine and temps in the 60s. But, you know, it makes my job a little on the slow side, I would say. I spend most of my day looking through climate data. Yeah. So that's saying something. <laughs> Here's your Southwest Motors camera looking off to the northwest in Pueblo. Clear skies, a gorgeous Sunday evening. Uh, Pueblo, you maxed out at 64 this afternoon. Colorado Springs actually got a touch warmer than that. We got up to 66. You're at 56 in Manatee Springs, mid 40s in Woodland Park, 55 degrees Florence, and similar off in Canyon City. Winds not so much of a problem. Still a bit of a breeze in Park County, but not much. 49 in Burlington, low 60s still in Denver, 49 degrees in Alamosa. 58 in Trinidad, so our average high temperature this time of the year is 48 degrees, and we're still well above that, and the sun's already set. Uh, so that is just an indication of how warm it's been, and tomorrow should be even warmer. Your wind speeds are the strongest up into the mountains, but again, no travel troubles with the gusty winds. Really just maxing out about 20 miles an hour off in Chafee County. And if you are traveling uh, into Chafee County from Park County going through that pass, you might hit about 25 mile an hour winds on Highway 24, but nothing too bad. 12 degrees overnight in Alamosa, 34 in Springfield, 26 degrees off in Lamar, 38 for our overnight low in the Springs. And I told you, all I've been doing is looking at climate data. We average 23 for our overnight low lows and we're fluctuating about 15 to 20 degrees above that so a mild evening tonight and then for tomorrow's forecast just a fantastic day barely a cloud out there and temps in the high 60s tomorrow's record uh, for Colorado Springs is 71 we won't quite eclipse that but coming close 65 in Falcon tomorrow 58 degrees in Teller County low 50s in Southern Teller County 67 in Beulah Valley 72 off in Pueblo, nothing but sunshine and no chance of precipitation, mid-70s in Springfield. So December 1st is on Wednesday, and I think it's very possible for our Thursday forecast we'll be cracking into the 70s. So December 2nd, it's uh, pretty likely the southeastern corner, once again, looking similar to what you will tomorrow. Just ridiculous. 67 in the Springs for our high tomorrow, 57 in the San Luis Valley, low 70s up into Denver. And uh, I believe the National Weather Service takes about a week or two to put out their monthly climate reports, but I'm pretty certain that November is going to be one of the warmest. No, this November is going to be one of the warmest on record. Your national radar, just because of the high pressure ridge uh, sitting across the Intermountain West, Seattle has just been getting pounded with rain the last couple of days. I wish we could be getting some of that precip, but unfortunately, nothing as the ridge is just uh, lingering above us. It is Tuesday. A weak cold front will swing on through, not bringing any rain or snow chances, but at least slightly cooler temperatures. 59 for your Wednesday in Teller County, then low 60s Thursday afternoon, Fremont County, 73 tomorrow. Then into the low 70s again for Thursday, sunny skies out there. And then if you look way into the distance, next weekend, temperatures cooling again, but no chance of any rain or snow out there. Pueblo sitting low 70s for your midweek forecast. Colorado Springs, nothing but sunshine. Tuesday, a light jacket, but the rest of the days, Probably even shorts and a t-shirt will do you just fine. Danny, talk sports to me.